Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to another Monster High ranking video. Today, after many requests from you guys, we are going to be doing the Monster High collector ranking. So this is going to be all of the like collector dolls from 2020 onward. I know there were a couple of collector dolls in kind of the original run of Monster High, and I did go ahead and rank those with their respective characters when I did my Gen 1 and Gen 2 Monster High ranking. But now it's time to talk about the newer collector dolls. So that's going to include the Honka Tour line, as well as the Skelector dolls and miscellaneous dolls that are like very much a collector level like the recent Ghoulia doll. She's not technically a Haunt Couture doll but like she's you know basically Haunt Couture level. She's a adult collector doll from Monster High. So yes we are going to be ranking all of those dolls today. As per usual with any of my ranking videos this is just my opinion so if you guys disagree that is totally fine. It's not a big deal and I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I also have to give the extra disclaimer. I say this in a lot of my videos so if you're a long time viewer you might already know but a lot of the Monster High collector dolls are like horror themed. They're kind of collaborations with other horror franchises and I don't do horror very well. Sometimes I can read horror novels okay but I can't watch horror movies. They just really freak me out. I can't do the jump scares. I can't do the gore. It's just not something that's made for me so I did just say like it's just my opinion but kind of an extra level to that is that I'm probably going to rank the horror dolls less favorably simply because I don't know the franchises that they're from um, so don't be offended if I rank your favorite like horror doll low because it's not anything against you or even anything against the franchise. I just don't do well with horror. <laughs> so with that being said, if you guys do enjoy the video as we go along, if you could give it a like, that's very helpful to me. And if you're new here and you want to subscribe to see more, definitely consider that. But with that, let's go ahead and uh, start ranking these dolls. Alrighty, so as always, we are going to be doing the ranking in Procreate, and for today's ranking, the tiers that I'm using are great, cool, and then good but not for me. That's a category for dolls that I can say objectively have a good design, but that I just don't really personally connect with, and I have a feeling we're going to be using that a lot today. Then I have I Feel Nothing for dolls that literally just I don't have an opinion on whatsoever. Then we have Nah and Trash. So Nah is like a little bit negative, and then Trash is I actively dislike this doll. So we are going to be starting off with Elvira and you're gonna get sick of me saying this so I'm sorry but I just have to kind of let you know on each and every doll like what I do know about and what I don't know about and I don't really know much about Elvira I've seen pictures of her but like that's it that's all I can give you overall I think that the dress is really really pretty um, I like the little dagger accessory in the ring that she has I know that Elvira is a character who has a rather large bust typically so I am a little disappointed that Monster High didn't use a different sculpt to accentuate that just because like I feel like that's kind of a key feature of Elvira and then the other thing that I'm not as big a fan of when it comes to this doll is that they did use the um, Headmistress Bloodgood face mold and it just reads really blood good to me. <laughs> if you are like less of a Monster High fan and more of an Elvira fan who's looking at the stall, you might not notice it, but for me, all I can see when I see her face is blood good and it's very distracting because <laughs> it's just like not matching up quite in my head. Uh, that being said, despite the two kind of negatives, I actually do in general like the stall. Her hair is fine and if this had been like a very cheap doll, I probably would have bought her to steal the dress for another doll because like I don't know anything about Avaria so I don't really particularly care about the release in that sense but I do really really love this dress and I think it's executed in a nice way. So she's actually going to go into cool which is one of the more generous rankings I think we're going to get today. <laughs> Okay, then we have Chucky and Tiffany, who I'm probably going to end up splitting up. I don't know anything whatsoever about Chucky um, or Tiffany at all. In fact, one of you guys had to tell me that Tiffany <laughs> was, like, part of the Chucky franchise when these dolls were just rumored, but before we had gotten stock photos, because I didn't even know. Um, so I can't judge them in any way based on, like, movie accuracy, because I don't have that. Looking at Chucky first, I think that the face is really, really pretty. Um... I know Chucky has a lot of scars, so I don't know if, like, maybe more scars would have been more thematic, but I do think that in general the face is pretty. I like the crop sweater with the overalls. I think that's really cute. The shoes are fine. I wish the laces, this goes for both of them, I wish the laces were painted for a collector level doll with how expensive these dolls are. Like, I really wish the, <laughs> the laces had been painted. I'm also not going to be factoring in how dreadful a release this was. I did a whole video on that if you want to see it. Um, but I'm going to try to not factor stuff like that in because it's like, 
at that point, all of them would be ranked really badly because <laughs> most of the releases are pretty horrific. So, yeah, starting off with Chucky, I think I'm going to say good but not for me because I don't really get it. The face is pretty, but that's, like, all I can say. But, you know, I think it could be worse. Tiffany, however, um, objectively, I'm not a huge fan of the tights that, like, don't go all the way into the boot. I just think that that looks really bad on dolls whenever there's a weird cutoff like that. I think the print on the dress is not super, like, it just doesn't seem to match up with the more mature, like, inspiration that these dolls are coming from. I have heard other people complain a lot about the dress as well, as well as the jacket not being appropriate. I can't really speak to that. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I don't really feel anything about this doll. <laughs> I don't want to put her in good but not for me because I know a lot of people were unhappy with Tiffany. Um, I don't feel anything. I have no emotions. <laughs> I feel like shorter today. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I'm like shorter sitting here like the table's so high up. <laughs> anyway, uh, next up is the Gulux Gulia doll. And those of you who are longtime viewers will know that I'm not really a fan of Gulia. I just don't do zombies and... Ghoulie is a zombie, and like her designs are fine typically, but never something that I really connected with. Every time I say that, people get upset, and I'm sorry, I just don't really like Ghoulia. That being said, I actually think that this is a really, really cool design. Like, I didn't buy it because I'm not a huge fan of the character, and so like the brain imagery, for example, is not really for me because I just really don't like the zombie thing. But the structure is so cool. I love the puffy sleeves, and I really like the idea of the rib cage corset. I love these boots. They're the first fabric boots on um, Collector Monster High Dolls, which is really, really cool to see. And yeah, I think that she's cool. Um, my biggest complaint, I think, would be that the hair seems really under-designed compared to how intricate the outfit is. Like, there's a lot of pieces, a lot of textures and prints in the outfit. And personally, I like it. I know some people thought that it was... A little bit overdone. I like it. I like stuff that's a little bit extreme. <laughs> but I do think that the hair then looks a little bit too basic for me. That's not to say that it's ugly. I just think that maybe the base doll, the makeup too, I mean it's kind of hard to tell because she has glasses on, but I just feel like the the basics of the doll herself don't really match the aesthetic of the outfit that she's wearing quite a hundred percent in my opinion. That being said, shockingly for a Ghoulia doll, I am going to put her into cool because I do think there are a lot of really lovely things about her design. All right. <laughs> I have so many feelings about this one. <laughs> this is the Valentine's Day 2-pack with Cleo and Deuce. I was so excited before we had stock photos for this of the announcement of the fact that it was going to be a Cleo and Deuce 2-pack because, like, they're precious. I love Cleo. Deuce is fine. So, like, I was expecting a lot. Low-key, I was hoping that they would do a re-release of the original Cleo and Deuce. Obviously not the case. Um, let's start with the positives. Deuce, his face looks fine. You know, he looks like a very normal Deuce doll. Cleo, I love. It's kind of hard to tell in this photo because of the angle that it's at. But she's got these really cool asymmetric bangs, and I'm obsessed with them. Her face is beautiful, as always. Cleo dolls are just always dolls that I really, really like. I, I think the shoes for Cleo are fine. I don't know what's up with Deuce's loafers. That's, <laughs> that's a choice. And, um... I guess the suit isn't the worst thing ever. A lot of people have likened it to the BTS dolls, and I definitely see that comparison. And I feel like I would be more upset by this suit if the Cleo doll were stunning. But Cleo's dress is so terrible, in my opinion, that this suit actually looks good by comparison, which is a terrible thing to have to say. I just, okay. If you like this, I might get a bit mean for a second. It's not directed at you. I just have feelings. So, like, maybe skip. But... I cannot imagine Cleo wearing something this ugly. Like, the corset is fine with, like, the snakes and the heart. That's cute. I think that that's a good um, little design element. I think that the kind of mermaid-esque silhouette is a little bit boring. We've seen a lot of mermaid dresses on dolls in the last few years, and it's like, let's maybe do something a little bit different. But mostly it's the print. You cannot tell me <laughs> that fashionista Cleo, queen of the school Cleo, has to be better than everybody else Cleo would wear a print this ugly. Like, it's so gross and stupid and childish. And it's just so frustrating. The print specifically very much reminds me of G2 dolls that I didn't like. Like, the worst parts of G2 is what this print reminds me of. I am appalled that this is what got released. 
So again, I'm sorry if you like it. If it can bring you joy, I'm happy that you do. You know, like I'm not going to begrudge you happiness. Just personally, for me, absolutely not. So Cleo is going to go into trash because the doll is beautiful, but like I can't forgive that dress. <laughs> and then Deuce is going to go into Nah because I do think the suit looks like a little bit low quality and those loafers are very questionable. So not a great rating on that one. Okay, then we have the Haunt Couture Midnight Runway. I can never say that right. Haunt Couture Midnight Runway. Frankie. I don't have the other two on this list because they haven't technically been released yet. Like, I know we've seen the one photo of Spectre and Cleo, but they haven't, like, actually been announced in terms of when they're going to drop, and obviously they haven't dropped, so, like, we don't have multiple stock photos for them, so I'm just doing Frankie from this line. And a lot of people were very, very unhappy with this Frankie. I do get that compared to the Voltageous Frankie that came before her, we'll get there in a second, it's kind of similar. Like, there are some similar aspects. So, like, I understand why people are upset. Looking at it objectively, I do love the neon green. I think that that's a fun color for Frankie. Not one that I feel like we see all the time, but I actually really like it. I'm not a huge fan of G1 Frankie. Like, I love G3 Frankie. G1, eh, it, I can take it or leave it. So I don't really have any personal attachment to this doll, but I do like the green. I think that the boots are really fun. I know a lot of people were upset that she's in a jumpsuit because there have been a few jumpsuits on collector dolls. Personally, I don't mind it because I still feel like there's way more like mermaid dresses, for example, or even just dresses in general. I like to see a doll that's in pants because I feel like that's just more rare. So I'm not like super upset by it, but I do understand that criticism. Um, everything else is fine. Like, the jacket's fine, the jewelry's fine. I think the mask is honestly really ugly, actually. I like the bolt headband. That's cute. But yeah, especially when you compare it to the other masks, I think that's the problem, because, like, I know what the other ones look like, you know? And I just think that this is probably the most lackluster out of them. Mm, overall, I am going to go ahead and say good, but not for me, because I know there are people who are happy with this doll, and I don't think that she's ugly by any means. She's just not really for me. Okay, next up, Fang Vote Rochelle. This was a very contentious doll. Again, I did a whole video on her because it was just a weird, bumpy ride. I'm not going to get into it here. You can check out that video if you didn't already see it. Um, but basically, she does look different than her concept art. And of course, there's always going to be some difference. But I think there were just so many that it felt a little bit weird. I do think the colors are far too bright for um, Rochelle in general, like, I just think there's a lot of hot pink, and she definitely looks better with, like, the very pale pastel pink, and it's just a lot of design happening. I like the idea of this cage. I honestly really don't mind the top half of the dress, but the bottom half is just a lot for me with, like, all the ruffles and stuff. I don't know. I know I said that I wasn't going to take into account the bad releases because... <laughs> Like, that wouldn't necessarily be fair. It's hard for me to separate, though, this doll from, like, the expectations I had of her based on the fang vote that we took part in and, like, the drawings that we got with that. I think I'm going to put her in not. Because even if I try to distance myself from those emotions about the release, I like things about her, but more so I dislike things about her. So I think, for me, that's an appropriate rating. Okay, next up we have Frankenstein and The Bride of Frankenstein, the two-pack. I read Frankenstein a long time ago <laughs> for um, class when I was back in high school. And uh, yeah, that's the extent of my knowledge. I have never seen any of the like movies or like visual media. I've only read the book. So separating these two, not knowing anything about The Bride of Frankenstein, except, you know, vaguely knowing what she looks like. I do think that the hairstyle is executed quite well. The dress is, like, a bit simplistic, but from the source material, I, you know, from my limited knowledge, I don't feel like it's terrible. The belt is fine. I know the shoes, like, there's a ballerina in the heel, which is really, really cool. I appreciate the detail there. Um, I think with what they had to work with, The Bride of Frankenstein is pretty solid. However, I really don't feel much. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to put her in I feel nothing. Like, all of these could technically go into good but not for me because there's going to be somebody out there who likes them and, like, more power to you. But, yeah, I, I feel really nothing. Frankenstein, I like less. I don't know. I like the shoes. Those are sick. <laughs> and I think that the outfit is fine. But, honestly, I think that the mold is awful. I'm so sorry if you like this. <laughs> I just think it's really not, not good, not for me. I 
don't know, because obviously, like, I don't know that much about making dolls, so I don't know how else they could have executed this. I just don't think that he looks super, so he's gonna go into Gnaw. Then we have Dracula, and I was actually very excited. I was anticipating this release, and then when she got revealed, meh. She's fine. Her shoes are really, really sick. I think her accessories are super fun, but that's what bothers me, is that I genuinely like the accessories on this doll more than I like the doll herself, and that's not how I want to feel. Um, I don't know. I understand that not everything has to be, like, super intense design and, like, details everywhere. I know that there are good dolls that are more simple in design. This one just doesn't really call to me on a personal level. I feel like there's nothing that I can look at and be like, this is why I don't like it. I think she's just not for me, but I don't think she's bad, so she is going to go into good, but not for me. Okay, here is the Voltageous Frankie that I referenced earlier. So again, with the jumpsuit, I can see why people like saw this one and then Midnight Runway kind of right after, and it's like, do something a little bit different for Frankie. I do get that. Uh, I never really cared about the black and white dolls. Even when talking more modern terms, like Shadow High did the line of all black and white dolls, and those are probably some of my least favorite Shadow High dolls. It's just not for me. I prefer dolls that have some sort of color to them. I know she has, like, a little bit of color in her face, but you know what I mean. Uh, the tinsel, question mark, I don't know what it's actually made of. Looks like tinsel. The jacket that she has, I think, is actually very fun. I think that's a cool design. I don't know. Everything else I either don't care about or I actively dislike. We have this weird thing, again, where the boots come up to like her mid calf and the jumpsuit ends just below her knees and i just i just don't think that it looks good like if you want to have that leg in the middle i feel like you need to end the jumpsuit like just above the knees or like mid thigh like it needs to be shorter so it looks less awkward or it needs to go all the way down and tuck into the boot because it just to me it looks really really awkward and i'm not a fan i don't know i feel like so many people are fans of frankie so like i'm inclined to put it into good but not for me but also, I do feel negatively towards her. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be nice, and I'm gonna put her in good but not for me. Because I feel like there are enough people who liked this doll that I should be more charitable. Alrighty, then we have the Holiday Draculaura. I did include this one because she was, like, a higher price point, so I feel like she counts as a collector doll. I didn't include Real Drama because even though those were kind of aimed at collectors and also had collector-level scarcity, um, they were just, you know recolored versions basically of the basic lineup for G1 of Monster High and the intent was that they should be available widespread and at more of a retail price like a playline type price so I didn't feel like those really had a place here because I would rank them just the same as I ranked their original core dolls so like you can watch the videos <laughs> for the individual characters rankings from G1 but I did feel like Halliday Draculaura was actually like properly a collector doll if that makes sense i hope you get what i'm saying she's hard because i didn't buy her so like i obviously didn't like her enough <laughs> but i don't think she's bad like the hair is cute i like the stripes i like the silhouette of the dress with like the shorter one underneath and this big poofy one on top i like the transparent boots there's not really anything that I dislike about her. I just didn't buy her because there were other things that I wanted to prioritize more, and she was another one that was kind of, like, hard to get. Not the worst, <laughs> but people did have a hard time getting her, and so I was like, I'm not going to try to get a doll that I don't feel 100% enthused about. That being said, I do think I'm going to go ahead and put her into great. Because I, I like her a lot, and looking at the other dolls on this list so far, I like her better than all of the other dolls. And I feel like being nice today, <laughs> so we're gonna put her in great. Next up is Haunt Couture Laguna, and I feel like I disliked her a lot more when she first came out, and over time I've kind of come around to her and I feel better about her. Maybe a lot of other people feel that way. I don't know. The mermaid silhouette, again, it is what it is. I like a lot of the fabrics that they picked, like this iridescent fabric is really cool, and like the transparent plastic of the jacket. I think those are both very fun for like mermaid dolls or sea monster dolls, you know, ocean type dolls. I think that's a fun modern take on it. The scale print I'm fine with. Honestly, like there's nothing that bad about her. I don't know why I didn't like her when she came out. She's cute. Like I would not have put in the effort, even if I had liked her at first, even if I felt the way I do now, I would not have put in the effort to try to get her because it's a nightmare. But actually, I think that she's pretty solid. 
This might be controversial, but I'm gonna put her into great too. I'm really feeling nice today. Then we have Honka Tour Frankie and eh, I don't know. She's fine. That's really all I got. I think that the bag doesn't match anything else on the doll. Like the red is a different red from her lips and the vibes of the backpack are just not the same vibes that the rest of the outfit is giving to me. Mostly I think the problem is again, I, I really only like G3 Frankie. Like I'm not a fan of G1 and G2 Frankie. And that's nothing against her. Like it's not a personal vendetta. Well, after watching some of the movies, it might be a personal vendetta. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like it's, it's fine if you like Frankie. I just really don't until G3. So nothing with this design connects with me. My favorite part is probably the sheer shirt with this like metal cage. But that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and put her in good but not for me. Because I know people loved this doll and were very happy with her. I just don't care. All right, Honkatora Draculaura. I thought about getting her. Uh, I was deeply, deeply considering it, but I was at work when she dropped and I didn't get her and I didn't like her enough to pay the overinflated prices. I think the bag is cute. I love the dress. The beret is adorable. I, again, I don't know what it is with the tights and like leggings and stuff ending at a weird point. Like if you had brought that up to just under her knee or just like, yeah, I guess you would have to do just under her knee with the length of the skirt. But if you had brought it up to just under her knee even, I think it would be more appropriate because the boots are fairly short. It just really bothers me. I like the boots, but <laughs> I, I hate when dolls do that with the weird length of the leggings. It's just so icky, especially again on a collector level doll. Like I don't want to pay for that. Ugh. anyway, sorry, rant over. Anyway, she's going to go into great because even though I just complained about her, She's beautiful. I feel like it's really hard to mess up with Draculaura. She's a fan favorite. She's one of my favorites, so... Yep. This one, though. This is gonna be my favorite on the list. Y'all already knew that. <laughs> the Haunt Couture Cleo doll is the only Monster High Collector doll that I have from, like, this newer set of releases. And she's gorgeous. She's so perfect. I did a review on her, and my biggest complaint was that I think that Monster High has really placed too high a price on their collector dolls, but that's across the board. That's not Cleo specific. And so I'm not going to like account for that here. She's gorgeous. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this foam clip. Mine isn't displayed with hers just because I feel like it messes up the flow of her pants, but literally everything else is perfect. She's an unbelievable doll. And if there were a tier above great, that's where she should go because she does deserve to be in her own tier for being the most amazing thing ever but she's gonna have to go into great because that's as high as I can go. <laughs> All right, then we have Haunt Couture, Claudine. I don't know. I don't dislike her. I have come around to Claudine recently. Like that's, that's an adult lifetime development. When I was a teenager, not a fan of Claudine. Now as an adult, huge fan of Claudine. But something about this is just not working for me. I think it's the shirt because I love the skirt and I love the like coat that she has. I think those are very fun. Her rings are great. Like her purse is great. Shoes are awesome. It is, it's the shirt. And then the other thing it is, is the hair. I feel like she would look better with tighter curls with this design in particular. In general, in like the, you know, 2020 onward releases for Claudine, I feel like we are not getting enough hair variety. And that goes for like the collector as well as the G3 dolls. Because in G1 and G2, Claudine changed her hair all the time and it was so fun because you never knew what she was going to get. Anyway, I'm off on the tangent. Point is, is I think that she would look a lot better with tighter curls or like natural hair. I just think that that would look nice. She's going to go into cool because I do think it's still a really solid design. There's just a couple of things that I think I would tweak before it would get too perfect. Next up is Greta Gremlin and she's actually one of my favorites collector dolls. I have never seen anything to do with Gremlin, so like I don't get it, but I do think overall her design is really cool. I'm obsessed with the huge ears. I think that is such a fun choice. Obviously you kind of have to, like I've seen pictures of Gremlin, so like I get that much at least. So you'd have to do something like that. It would not read the same if this doll had like normal sized ears. But even aside from the Gremlins thing, I think this is just like a fun sculpt that I wish that they would explore more. Like I. I hope at some point in G3 we get some characters that have really interesting molds like this. But I love that. The earrings is great. The dress is very fun. She's really solid. Like, I actually thought about getting her, even though 
I don't know anything about the Gremlins movie. Like, if I had unlimited disposable income, I would have bought her just for appearances, despite not knowing anything about the Gremlins movie. So the only thing that stopped me was that I didn't want to spend that much money on the doll that I didn't understand the source material of. But I think she's really solid and she's going to go into great. Nearing the end here. Okay, these are the Beetlejuice dolls. We have Beetlejuice and then Lydia. Never seen Beetlejuice, so kind of hard for me to judge here. Um... I'm trying to distance myself from what I know about these dolls because I feel like there was a lot of complaints when it came to the quality of these dolls, but they're not the only ones, and so I'm trying to go just based off of looks. I'm having a hard time with these. I think I feel nothing. <laughs> I'm sitting here like looking at the image trying to force an emotion when I literally have a tear that's called I feel nothing, so that's, that's where they go. I just genuinely feel absolutely nothing. All right, then the Grady Twins, one of the original um, Skelector dolls. There was the Grady Twins and then Pennywise. They were the first ones to come out. So like, that's cool and exciting that, you know, they were some of the first ones and they kind of heralded in the new generation of Monster High actually releasing things again. So nostalgia wise, or like Monster High history wise, I guess is probably a better way to say it. They do have a good spot in, you know, Monster High history. That being said, I have seen The Shining. Personally, a very overrated movie. I think it was super boring, which is probably why I was able to handle it. Sorry, I'm really sorry if you're a Shining fan. I thought it was not good. Like, it was just so boring. Um, but my bigger issue is, like, I get that it's an iconic piece of horror media. There are so many pieces of iconic horror media, though, that I think it's kind of bizarre that Monster High chose to do a doll design off of, like, relatively boring character designs. Like, there are much more interesting horror characters that they could have done. Because ultimately, like, I get that there's some references, like the axe and the hair, and, like, there's hedges on the shoes, but, like, these are boring dolls, you know? Like, if you take away... <laughs> <laughs> the fact that they're from The Shining. If you were to just look at them and not know that, they're really boring dolls. I don't know. I hope that that makes sense. Because I understand why they look this way. But I don't think that that, like, excuses how they look, you know? <laughs> anyway, all that to say, I'm going to put them in gnaw because I don't think that they're trash. But, like... I feel like there are so many horror movies that Monster High could have picked from that would have been more interesting. Then, last of all, is Pennywise, and I didn't watch either version of it, because again, don't do horror very well. I have read the book, um, it was okay. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know <laughs> anything about the movie visually to connect to this doll. I think it's fine. I like the hair, I think that that is done very, very well. I like the clown makeup. Basically the whole outfit from like mid thigh up I like, but again we've got this weird length with the leggings. I like the shoes though, I think that that's cool. Like they're not my aesthetic and not something that I personally like, but I do think objectively it's a fun design to have these like evil smiling clown faces on the shoes. I'm gonna go ahead and put Pennywise in good but not for me. Cause like I never would buy this doll, I didn't buy this doll, but I understand why people like it. So that is going to be the ranking here. It's actually a lot nicer than I thought it would be. I went into this thinking I'm going to rank everything so low and then like halfway through I just started feeling really kind for some reason. <laughs> I guess it's better ranking wise for me to think I'm going to rank everything poorly and then realize that these are fun designs than it is for the opposite to be true. So I'll take it. But yes, that is going to be the ranking for today. I would love to hear your thoughts on the dolls in the comments below. If you feel like dropping your entire ranking, I know that's like a lot to ask you guys to type out, but if you're up for it, I'm always curious to see how you would rank things and how your rankings differ from mine. But yeah, that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, your night, or whatever it might be, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys!